Hi friends, this is Soft Cell Video Productions and I'm your host John. This is episode number 152 and the first in a series of every step you need to take to build a house from the ground up. When I say ground, I mean the slab and the method of grounding the main panel, which is a critical item. So let's meet back at the blackboard. Okay, we're going to cover three items here today. These are the first two. Now, before you lay your slab, you're going to have a concrete form around the entire perimeter of your house. Slab in the garage is going to leave about a three inch lip of concrete and that's where your panel is going to go. The rest slab cuts off even but we're dealing with the garage here because that's where most panels are. First you want to make sure you install your UFER underground ferrous rod. This is very important. This is the bottom of the footing. This is dirt. That's the very bottom of your footing. Okay. This is the top of your footing. So from here to here, that's going to be the top of the concrete. So you've actually got about two and a half feet of concrete here. This Ufer has to be 20 feet long and you really want at least six inches of it exposed so you connect to it, connect the panel because your panel grounds to this Ufer which is buried in the footing. The second thing is the riser. This is what is going to feed power to your panel. Now, you want to use a minimum of a two and a half inch piece of gray conduit and two one inch gray conduit. This one is for power. One of these data, one of these is for telephone. So you have power, data, telephone. I wrap them duct tape and then I secure them between the concrete forms with a piece of wire so that they're held in between. One note, these are going to be buried in the ground so there's nothing that can get in there. But on the top, you want to cover these with plastic, tape them up, seal them up really good so that nothing can get dropped out in there, wedged in there and clog them up. Let's move on to the third item, which would be a kitchen island. You want power to your island. You always want to go to an outside wall to your kitchen island. And the reason why is say you have a wall here, right, and you try to put a J box to there, your chances of being right on the money of where that wall is is probably about 10 percent. In other words, it's not going to happen. So always go to your outside wall for your J box. And if you happen to have a sink here, that's the perfect spot because you've got your dishwasher disposal and you can run your J box, right? Here's your dishwasher disposal right next to it and just blank it off. We'll get into a little more detail on the next chalkboard. Now here's the clarification. This is your outside wall form. Normally, this pipe has got to be 18 inches deep. Here is an exception. When you're doing an underground for an island, it only has to be six inches plus total. So you have to dig down two inches below the type two, which is the type of gravel they use before they pour concrete to run your one inch gray PC. Now on this side, you can secure it so it doesn't move back and forth. This side, I would recommend you secure with a piece of rebar. So just pound a piece of rebar in there and use some baling wire so that that pipe is sticking up and is secure. That's how you run an island feed. Let's go to the studio and clarify some of this stuff. What we're looking at here is the rebar size that you need for your UFER. It's number four or half inch. There's a quarter for scale size. So that's what you need for your underground UFER. This next picture we're looking at are three different sizes of 
electrical conduit, plastic conduit designed for direct burial. The three quarter inch on top is what I recommend against never using ever. You want to use a combination of two of the one inch pieces in the center for your data and your phone and then for your main riser for your power you want to use the two and a half inch size as far as the brand I do not endorse it or say anything bad about it it just happens to be a product that's used for an example so for your underground riser coming into your panel you want to use a two and a half inch approximately two and a half to three feet long and two number one inches tape them together secure them quite well between the footings and you'll be all right next photo is of a sweep and this is what you use to go from the kitchen to the outside wall for your J box this is what your UF goes inside of this is one inch and you want to run from one to two of these and on the island you want to have the stub up come as close to the inside wall of a cabinet as you can. You want to try to anchor to the inside wall of a cabinet. If not, then you'll just anchor to the bottom of the cabinet and J box with BX out from there. And that pretty much concludes the information on what you need to know before you pour your slab. This is episode number 152. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video and have a great day.